Good morning YouTube and welcome to Blackberry Ridge. <clears throat> I'm standing beside my pond and um, behind me is the beautiful Appalachian Mountains. <clears throat> what I want to discuss today is something that's pretty serious and every time that I have tried to discuss it I have become emotional and so this time I'm going to work very hard to keep my emotions in check <clears throat> and let you know some of the things that I've been having to deal with for the last um, three weeks. Um, about three weeks ago on a Saturday, Ombria came over to my place, um, she's 19 feet from me, and asked me to look at her foot. She said, Mama, there's something wrong with my foot. And so I looked at her foot. <clears throat> And um, the bottom of her foot was black and, and kind of, um, well, it was black. I, I don't want to get graphic on this. Um, she had a hole just underneath her baby toe um, that was big enough where you could, I could have put my little, the tip of my little finger in quite a ways. I went and got um, some peroxide and put peroxide in the hole to see, you know, if I could see what was going on. And a little piece of pea gravel came out. I mean, just this little piece of pea gravel. Since Ombria has lymphedema in that leg, Ombria has cerebral palsy, um, and she has a lot of other issues. Um, she's developmentally delayed, but one of the things that she has is lymphedema in that left leg due to a lot of surgeries that she's had. And she also has limited feeling in that leg because of the amount of surgeries that she's had. So um, I went, um, was able to go to my first aid box, and I was able to um, put um, Vaseline-impregnated gauze on the areas it looked it looked like she had had like um like i said i'm not trying to be graphic but it looked like the skin had just been eaten off of her foot so i um went and i put the vaseline impregnated gauze on it and then i um after i had sprayed it with that uh, nano silver then i um, very carefully wrapped it up with um, um teflon gauze so that it wouldn't stick to her foot and then was able to take gauze and wrap her foot and I said Ombria this is something beyond me I have to get you to the hospital well she didn't want to go mom I don't want to go to the hospital so I went ahead and I fixed breakfast and I told her I said let's go ahead and eat some breakfast and she didn't want to eat she was pretty upset so I sat down and ate my breakfast tried eating my breakfast and put the dish over into the sink and then I said um, where's your insurance cards and she told me so I went over to her house and got her insurance cards and then I came back and I said um, get yourself ready we're going to the hospital well, she'd been laying on my couch with her foot propped up on the armrest and she says mom I don't want to go and I was like Ombre this isn't up for discussion you have got to go to the hospital with this foot this is serious so I get her into the car and I take her, it's about, from my house, probably 30 or 40 miles to the hospital, which is important that you know that it's, it's a distance to the hospital. Um, got her there, and at first they thought that her foot had been burnt. Um, and then um, when, they, when they got her medical history and realized that she had lymphedema, um, in her history, what had happened was that she had got lymphorrhea. Um, it had gone into lymphorrhea, which meant that um, the lymph couldn't, because her system is compromised, the lymph has trouble removing itself anyway. And then with the added infection that happened from this little piece of pea gravel, um, it really just sent her, um, her system blazing, and the lymph didn't have any way of getting out of her system, so it settled into the lowest point which was her foot. So it's like, it's like every place that like where your foot had, would step down, that's, that was what was black. 
Um, the doctor said that they were just going to rewrap um, the foot at that point, and they told at the emergency room, and they said that um, he, he leaves the room and he comes back and he says that he had had a personal conversation with, I'm not going to use the doctor's name, but with a particular doctor, and that um, I absolutely had to get her there the first thing Monday morning. And when I called the doctor's office to make sure that the people who were making the appointments understood that this was an emergency and that they could verify it with the ER, with the, uh, with this doctor, that the ER doctor and them had had this conversation. <clears throat> so I asked who this doctor was, and he says, well, he's a surgeon. And I was like, why are you sending my daughter to a surgeon? She needs a dermatologist. I mean, this is a skin issue. And he goes behind Ambria, and he turned, um, he took a piece of paper, and he wrote on it, and he showed it to where I could see it, and it said, minimum skin graft, maximum amputation. And he said, don't let, don't, don't scare her <clears throat> on the bottom of it. So I looked at that, and I guess Ambria could see for a second that I was shocked, and she says, mama, and I says, yeah, we'll get the doctors, we'll get you to the doctor, we'll get her to the doctor on Monday, thank you very much. Um, so Sunday, um, she was prayed over at church and you can take that for what you want to take it. But for me, that is very important. But she was prayed over at church. <sighs> going to get emotional. And then on Monday, I took her to, <sighs> sorry, I thought I wouldn't be able to get emotional. But Monday I took her to the surgeon's office and, um. Uh, the black part of the skin had turned, it was red. It was very, very red. He removed the dead skin, which was almost like a, a blister type thing. Um, and, and lymph is, from what I have heard, what they have explained to me, lymph is caustic to skin and muscle. So when it was just sitting there, um, it, it was caustic. And that's all I'm going to say about that because I don't want to get too graphic. This was an extremely serious situation. Um, anyway, so we've been dealing with this for three weeks. Now, Ambria's foot is healing. Um, she still has, um, some issues with the foot and she's doing some healing on that. Um, but we had gone this past Monday and I'm videotaping this on a Thursday, Thursday, the 20th of October. But we had taken her on Monday back to the surgeon's office and, uh, he thought at this point that it would be okay to take her off of the antibiotics. So um, she was off of them on, th on Monday. And then Tuesday she comes. I, I go over to wake her up to take her to Bible study. And the whole side of her face is swollen up. I mean, the whole side. And it was like it was like pulled down. And she had this like hangdog look to her. So I tried getting her into the doctor's office. And it finally took um, a friend of mine... Um, who has a little bit of clout, uh, who was able to, uh, with medical people, she's with the senior citizens, um, affiliated with the senior citizens group here. And uh, she uh, was able to get an appointment for Ambria. So we rushed, we got Ambria to, because uh, they were saying, if it's an emergency, take her to the emergency room or whatever. Well, I didn't know if this was an emergency. I didn't know what this was. And I really thought that she needed to be seen by, you know, a doctor that would be, be able to relate this. So I took her took her there and now what she has is that she's on another antibiotic because she has a tooth that has abscessed. Now I know that I've given a very very long story here um, and I've given you this story for a point. I don't I didn't give you this story so that you would feel sorry for us or oh poor 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 widow woman or anything like that. I gave this because this is I, I want to be able to teach you and I want you to learn from my experiences just as I want to learn from your experiences. And the reason I have related this very long story to you is to say, what does your medicine chest look like? If something had happened, and say, God forbid, we had been snowed in here for two or three weeks, which can happen, has happened. Um, but if uh, we had been snowed in, um, what would I have done? Um, I am. I have an excellent medicine chest. I mean, I have several um, totes that are full of gauze and bandages, and um, I mean, all different things. I, I have all different. I have things for 
you know, diarrhea and things for constipation and things for colds and, and I mean, just all, I mean, I've been, I've tried to think of every situation that, that I might need to take care of if, if we should be whatever homebound, um, you know, whether it be, you know, we wouldn't have a flood here, but maybe your area is prone to flooding and maybe your house isn't flooded, but you can't get out because the streets are flooded. Um, maybe there's um, storm damage, you know, where there's trees that have been knocked down or, I mean, there's all different situations. That's the point that I want to make that can happen. Um, so the reason I'm, I'm telling you this is that do you have a medicine chest where you could have pulled out gauze and um, non-stick Teflon bandages and um, um, things that you might have needed to have cared for your loved one or a neighbor. So please look at your medicine chest. Um, <clears throat> if there's sale on gauze or bandages or what, go, go hit it. Go put it in a box. Put it aside. If you never use it, great. That's wonderful. And I pray that you do never have to use it. But if you should need it, I don't want you having to sit there saying, I wish I had listened to that hillbilly widow woman that lives up on the side of that mountain. <clears throat> I know that the majority of the people who are watching this channel are women. And we want to take care of, of our loved ones. But men, I'm also telling you that this is your responsibility too. Not meaning to preach at you. Just wanted you to know that things happen fast. And as Pastor Joe at Viking Preparedness is always saying, you know, we need to be prepared for whatever situation. So anyway, please keep us in your thoughts and prayers. And just remember, Ombre's going to be okay. And... I'm going to be okay, and you know what? You're going to be okay. As always, God bless America, and please, please, please pray for our country.